I had this thought while looking at lava lamps. What if the goopy goo inside lava lamps were sentient creatures who could move on their own? And that's how these animated loops were born. I studied the motion of lava lamps, watching how the liquid inside stretches apart and then reforms into little blob balls that float around and then reconnect to the larger mass of goo. But to take it a step further, I drew out swooping motion paths and used these motion paths as a guide to animate the goo liquid swooping around. These loops are animated on twos at 30 frames per second and contain between 80 and 220 frames per loop. The in-betweens and cleanup stage were done by my animation partner Brittany Penn. For the coloring, I added in a flat dark orange color. Then I added a gradient to make the bottom more yellow and the top more red. Then I used a toon shader with the layer property set to add in order to give the color a soft light. The final step was to cell shade specular highlights to help make the lava liquid feel more 3D. This stage took dozens of hours since I cell shade by hand, frame by frame. For comparison, the toon shading phase only took dozens of minutes since the computer fills it in. Sometimes I like to combine flat cell shading with the softer toon shading to add more variety to the highlights and shading. I live streamed some of this cell shading process. I'll put a link to that in the description and pink comment. You can see on the little cell shaded highlights how they don't touch the outlines of the goo. I cell shade with the gap between the highlight and the outline. I thought about shading shadows, but found it wasn't necessary thanks to the gradient and tune shade automatically creating a darker shade in the middle of the goo. Putting specular highlights over where the light and dark touch created a nice effect. I took some inspiration from the movement of jellyfish. Jellyfish don't have fins or flippers, so they move by contracting their squishy, umbrella-shaped bodies and expelling the water to propel themselves forward. This natural squashing and stretching method of locomotion lends itself nicely to 2D animation, where squash and stretch is one of the most important animation principles. I could have exaggerated it a bit more, but I wanted the feeling to be more chill and relaxed rather than high energy and zany. The more squash you have, the more stretch you need to counterbalance it. Since these loops are moving pretty calmly, I kept the squash and stretch a bit tamer to complement the slower speed. You can watch more animation process videos like this one by clicking the video on the end screen. Very special Patreon shoutouts go to these top supporters. Jerry McLellan of SupergalacticFantastic.com Rogue DZ Carlos Cervantes Simeo Elliott Artworks Production and Remy Stereo. Thanks so much for liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next video.